Hello world, this is Random Fix, and if you like simplicity, power on the go, and a one box solution that pretty much has 90% of the things you want out there covered, I'm gonna show you guys this EcoFlow Pro right here, and this thing is absolutely amazing. So I'm actually building a sprinter camper conversion right now and I've been looking up all these different things to do and somebody from EcoFlow reached out to me and they sent me over one of these solar generators and this thing basically checks off all the boxes and I'm going to show you guys this in depth. I'm going to show you guys the app. I'm going to show you guys the different ports. I'm going to show you guys it connected to the solar panel here and these solar panels now are super affordable you can get them for basically a hundred dollars for a 100 watt mono crystal lead panel and I'll have links to anything in the video box below that you guys want to check out I even got it connected to a little electric heater right here and this thing is putting up some nice hot air because everything's in one box so we got to solar charge controller we also got a battery bms we got an inverter and we also got all the wires that we'll need so we can charge it from our car we can connect it to solar panels and we can go ahead and connect it to shore power and everything will basically run through this just like right now so we can run things really for endless amounts of time just using this and in case we disconnect it it automatically will keep going it's got a beautiful display here on the front so you can see that I'm currently taking in 5 watts of solar because I'm blocking the panel and we're currently putting out 582 watts of power to the heater here so power is going out it lets me know how long this can run for so it can actually supply power to this heater here for 36 additional minutes because it's only at 57 percent and the best part is it's everything's built in and we got a light built into here we have an app which basically will go and allow us to set parameters increase the power here on the actual three ports that it has on the side for household electricity. It will allow us to go ahead and charge USB-C to 100 watts guys. That's one zero zero. So that's a lot of power coming out of that little port. We got USB-A here and we got a fast charge. We got a cigarette lighter plug right here. So if you'd love to go camping and you have components that work off 12 volt you can plug them in we got another DC connection here and on the side we have that solar panel coming in I made my own wiring however it does come with its own wires which you could plug in we got a reset we got the household electricity which we can just plug in so if you guys have a laptop and you don't want to lose any data for whatever reason this can act like a USP so when the power goes out from the shore this will kick in however this will not work for desktops it'll work better for a laptop because you will lose power for a 30th of a second and that can actually get your computer turned off so keep that in mind got a beautiful handle here and on this side over here and on this side right here with the three plugs and it does take a three prong connection in there just goes like that it has this expansion power port so you can basically daisy chain two of these together if I don't need household power I can go ahead and turn that off and I'll show you guys that on the app later on as well if I want to take it with me I can just unplug it there it goes unplugged it's ultra portable so I'm actually carrying this with one hand 
and I've been saving the best for last guys this charges at an incredible rate so once you connect this back to shore power and you want to head out for the weekend connect that shore power right there and I want to show you guys this can take in over 800 watts I've seen it myself and for a solar generator like that that's actually a really high amount of watts it could even go a little bit higher depending on the health of the battery so let's connect that and see how that goes okay we're gonna go ahead and pretend we're gonna head out for the weekend connect it to power it detected the input it's at 120 watts 180 220 240 300 and it just keeps climbing so right there it's got the USP enabled right now so that is good to go and while this is charging let me show you guys what this actually eliminates so that way you guys get a better idea all right so there is my sprinter build that I got going on right now we just removed the headliner and we are doing the sound deadening and we're going to do the installation next but if you decide to go with the solar generator setup you're going to be able to not have to install a separate inverter run all the crazy wiring associated with this you're not going to have to buy a DC to DC converter which runs about 300 and something dollars you're not going to have to buy a Bluetooth module because the app has it all built in and you're not going to have to buy all these kind of connectors wiring crimp tools anyway super convenient solution to look at a solar power generator that has all those features that I talked about so now let me show you guys the box and why it's so important to keep the box so very first thing is this actually comes with a warranty and when you open up the box it lets you know to go ahead and keep everything in here so in case you have any warranty related issues go ahead and hang on to that so back here I got all the item specifications so this thing only weighs under 16 pounds guys that's super light here's the dimensions we have a 720 watt hour battery that's 28.8 volts that puts that power at 120 volts 12 volt power we also got USB power and look guys this is maintaining a 634 watt charge rate right here which is insane so now we got power outputs right here so we got 600 watts out it can surge at 1200 watts it has a special mode which I'm going to show you guys we got DC at 12.4 amps for the USB 5 volt connections we also got another one over here at 28 watts we got a USB-C at 100 watts that I showed you guys we can go ahead and put in 200 watts of solar and there's gonna be the car charger range from 12 or 24 volts at 10 amps max it's lithium ion and there's the discharge temperatures the charge temperatures right here so if you were to go ahead and charge this up today you can keep this on the shelf and still have some power at the end of one year it's got about 800 cycles so that's over two years if you use this thing every day which is actually a lot and one thing to keep into account if you go ahead and limit your state of charge to about 80 percent you may get some extra life out of here so that's the way I had done mine and it's been working great and we're still charging right here we're at 66 percent and when it reaches full state guys you don't have to worry about anything you don't have to worry about batteries blowing up on you because it will do itself 
this really is a one box solution for many many other components and I don't know how they managed to put it all in one box but they did and it is very very compact portable so if you guys are planning on using this for camping home use or a camper van this thing is gonna do so well I think you guys are gonna be really happy with your purchase and the results you're gonna get I'm gonna have links to anything that I use in the video description box so if you were looking for the solar panels you'll find them there these X T60 connectors I'll have those there and let me show you guys that app now this so you guys get a better idea and I'll show you how to set it up okay so we are here on the Google Play Store on Android and just go into your App Store and you want to look for an app called EcoFlow and once it's installed go ahead and open it so with the app open we're gonna go ahead and hit open we're going to hit next and it gives us a little bit of a description. It lets us know we can monitor the battery temperature here, the battery state, and hit done. And I'm going to go ahead and log in. And once you're logged in, go ahead and hit the plus icon. Now make sure you go ahead and hit that little button that I showed you guys earlier on the front. And we can see that the network showed up. You want to go ahead and connect. It's connected now. You want to go back to the actual app. All right, so we got everything set up. I can I selected my Wi-Fi and named the device. Okay, so my device is listed here. And now in my device, I could come over here and I can choose if I want the light on. I can choose if I want to have the AC ports on. Or the direct current ports and on the AC I can come in here and actually go into the X boost it lets you know what the X boost is so that's pretty cool you could do this on the app I don't know why you'd want to turn off the X boost so I would leave that on you could also come in here and change the system standby time the LCD standby time you could do quiet charging sound effects temperature settings so that's all perfect and this is where you can adjust the state of charge so I have mine set at 80% but you can go to 100 if you like and that is it really easy simple app to use and if you connect to the internet now you can go ahead and even do updates and update the firmware that is pretty cool now you should be able to access this device from anywhere where the device is connected to so talk about portable power guys this is becoming really simple and something that took a lot of knowledge and information and wiring is now coming into a one box solution and we are all complete Alright guys, there you guys go. You guys have an all-in-one complete power source here. It accepts solar. It's able to supply three outlets here. It's got a built-in app. It's got all the power you need. And if you're at EcoFlow watching this video, if you guys want to make the product even sweeter, consider building a wireless charger up top here. That way we can just slide in our device. It charges. And a small little Bluetooth speaker would make this thing complete and make it the ultimate camping and portable power accessory to have. So I really appreciate you guys watching. If you guys are new to the channel, consider hitting that subscribe button right here and giving the video a thumbs up as it would mean the world to me. And we'll see you guys on the next video. And if you guys are interested in seeing the Mercedes camper van build out, please check out that link and that playlist at the end of this video.